Welcome to Anatomy in Nutshell. In this video, we are going to see the low volume MCQs part 4. Already, I have posted the three uh, parts of MCQs and the links are given in the description box. Watch the videos. If you are not subscribed to Anatomy in Nutshell channels, subscribe the channel. The first question. The screw home movement in extension of the knee joint begins the tightening of A. A anterior cruciate ligament B. Posterior cruciate ligament C. Medial collateral ligament D. Lateral collateral ligament So the answer is A. Anterior cruciate ligament Coming to the second question Which structure is intrasynovial at knee joint? A. Medial menisci B. Popliteus C. Anterior cruciate ligament D. None the answer is D. None. Because all the structures are intracapsular and extrasynovial. Question number 3. All are lateral rotators of hip joint except A. Operator internus, B. Adductor brevis, C. Gamulus superior, and D. Quadratus femoris. So the answer is B. Adductor brevis. It produces the adduction of the hip joint. All the other muscles are lateral rotators. Question number 4. The inversion of foot is produced by which pair? A. Peroni's longus peronis brevis. B. Peroni's longus tibialis posterior. C. Peroni's brevis and plantaris. D. Tibialis anterior and tibialis posterior. The answer is D. The tibialis anterior and the tibialis posterior. Question number 5. Regarding the hip joint, all the statements are true except A. Gluteus maximus is powerful lateral rotator. B. Iliofemoral ligament limits the extension of hip. C. Iliosoyas forms the anterior relation of the hip joint. D. Flexion produced by adductor longus brevis and the magnus. The answer is D. All the other things are true. The flexion is produced by the adductor longus brevis magnus is wrong because the adductors are producing the adduction of the hip joint. Question number 6. The flexion and medial rotation of knee joint produced by Vastus medialis, rectus femoris, C. Semic membranosus, D. Biceps femoris. The answer is C. Semi membranosus. So, the flexion and medial rotation, both the things produced by the hamstring muscle, one of the true hamstring muscle. So, the answer is C. Semi membranosus. Question number 7. The stability of knee joint, which of the following factor most important? A. Shape of articulating surfaces B. Semilunar cartilage C. Cruciate ligaments D. Tone of quadriceps femoris acting on the joint The answer is C. The main factor is the cruciate ligaments Question number 8. The abduction and adduction of the forefoot takes place at which joint? A. Ankle B. Subtalar C. Torso Metatorsal D. Inferior Tibiofibular The answer is Subtalar joint Question number 9. Which is not true about the ankle joint? A. Synovial joint hinge variety. B. Delta ligament contributes to its stability. C. It is most stable in fully plantar flexed position. D. Dorsiflexion is produced by extensor digitorum longus and extensor hallucis longus. The answer is C. It is most stable in fully plantar flexed position. It is not true. The dorsiflexion. It is most stable. Coming to the 10th question, the calcaneo cuboid joint is A. Saddle joint, B. Hinge joint, C. Ellipsoid joint, D. Ball and socket joint. The answer is A. Saddle joint. So thanks for watching. Watch more videos in the Anatomy Natural channel.